Hey guys, it's time to get ready for my birthday. If it's your birthday too, happy birthday. And we're gonna start off with skincare. My skin has been super dry at the moment, so I've been using a couple of different products. This one is great. You apply this underneath your SPF or your moisturizer, and it creates this really hydrated boost on your skin. And then I'm also gonna use a serum because why not? Also, I just love to look at this, so I just really wanted to use it. So I'm gonna apply the serum over the top of that cream and just apply that all over. It's great for the lips too. Then I went in with my moisturizer, of course, but I also mixed in, wait for it, this strobing cream by Primark, just to make my skin like super glowy and shiny and then finished off with a primer because I can't obviously get enough on my skin, obviously. So just apply this all over my skin and we are ready to go with our makeup. Let's do this. So for foundation, I'm using my two favorite products at the moment. This combination is awesome. This L'Oreal highlighter, oh, dream. It's awesome. So I'm just gonna use my F20 to apply that all over my skin. That foundation is the one that I talked about before. It gives you full coverage, but it's for dry skin. So it doesn't feel really heavy. It feels just dewy and moisturized and I love it so much. So just apply that all over. I was rocking out. I had to cut so much of me just singing. If you can guess the song, leave it in the comment to get extra points for guessing the song. And that has given my skin an overall evenness, but I need a little bit of coverage because I got bitten on my face when I was in Texas. So just gonna cover that up with some MAC concealer and then use my foundation brush to blend all of that out. But underneath my eyes, I'm gonna use the Maybelline concealer, which I've been obsessed with lately. And I just apply it in like a little triangle underneath my eyes, cover up any of that darkness, and then use my foundation brush to blend it out. And that is giving me the liquid coverage that I want, but I also need to set everything in place to make sure it's gonna last. So I'm gonna use some magic powder because it's magical. Gonna use a large brush for this because I have quite a lot on my skin already. I don't wanna overload it. So I'm just gonna use a large brush and just dust this all over the skin, but don't go underneath your eyes because we're gonna do something else in a second with that. But this will just set everything in place and give you a little extra coverage. And for underneath the eyes, we're gonna use a different powder. This is buttercream powder, it's a loose powder. We're gonna use this for baking. So make sure there's no creases because that concealer does slightly crease and then just set it with the powder. So pile a ton of powder underneath your eyes. Just gonna catch any fallout for us and brighten up underneath our eyes. And apply it on your jawline as well. This creates the perfect line for your contour. So you're just gonna go above this line with your contour and it's gonna look perfect every time. So that is my baking done and I decided to bake my contour because why not? And I was like, why not? No, yeah, let's just do it. So I went in with this shade, which I've never used before. I just got this palette recently and I was a bit nervous about it, but I actually ended up loving it. So I'm gonna take the F31 and apply this just above that powder. So it creates the perfect line to follow to make sure your contour is right every single time. Ta-da! And then go around your hairline as well. And then for my brows, it was really boring, so I just did it off camera. Ta-da! And now for the fun bit. Check these links up here because me and Makeup by Saz, who is my bestie, have created a video using exactly the same palette. So go and check out the look that she created with this palette. We're also giving it away. So I'm using it for brown eyes. She has blue eyes. So go and check out hers if you have blue eyes. And oh, can we just, just pay attention to my nails for a second? Three euro from Pennies. Absolutely love them. Anyway, starting off, we're gonna use a primer on the eyelid. Best primer in the drugstore and in all of the land in all of the world. Best primer ever. Set it with a little bit of powder and we are starting off with the lightest shade from this palette, which is called Lily. You're gonna use the brush that it actually comes with, which is really handy. It's one of my favorite brushes ever. And apply this right underneath your brows on your brow bone. And this will just lift your brows a little bit. Then using Core with the blending side of this brush because it's double-ended. And you wanna apply this over and back in the crease, working across the lid and then all the way up to the very edge of Lily as well. It's just the perfect transition shade for this look. Then you're gonna use the next shade, which is a little bit warmer, and just apply this in exactly the same way, but just a little bit lower. So as we go along, we're gonna go lower and lower until we reach the lid, but we're still using the over and back motion with the blending side of the brush. Taking the same brush again and the brown from this palette, you don't use much of this because it's very pigmented. It's one of my favorite ones. And then you can just go in exactly the same way, working over and back, but really low and deep into the crease. So work a little bit lower than what we've done so far. And this is gonna be the base for our smoky eye. All about blending, just keep blending and blending and blending. 
Then you're going to use the slightly warmer brown shade. So this almost has like a ready undertone. It's really beautiful all across the lid. Like if you're being lazy, just shove this all over your lid and it looks gorgeous. I'm going to apply this slightly on the outer corner and then blend across the lid. And then flipping the brush around to the flat side, we're going to use goddess and apply this on the inner corner of the eye. We don't have anything on the inner corner, so it looks a lot more intense there. And then work it across the lid to add a shimmer and shine to the rest of the shadows. But I am going to be applying a pigment later on, so just wait on for that. But this is beautiful in itself. Taking the black from this palette, we're going to use a very small amount just on the very tip of the blending brush. Apply this on the outer third of the eye and then just slowly work it across, like very lightly over and back across the lid. You don't want to go past the halfway point with this. Keep it on the outer third and then blend it to the halfway point. Try not to bring this up into the crease. You don't want this black too high. So keep it quite low and deep in the crease. One of my favorite things to do is to take this very last shade. It's like a ready tone. It's beautiful for a smoky eye. Go right around the halo effect, just around the edges. And this is just very lightly dusting over and it will just lift the smoky eye and add dimension and shape. I love it. It's beautiful finishing step. So Wet n Wild have come out with these limited edition pigments and look how cute this is. It's like a little salt shaker. I love it so much. So I'm going to apply this on the inner corner and then just pat it across the lid. Now I'm using it dry. You don't want to swipe. You want to press because we don't want to disturb what we've already applied. And then you just want to dust off the powder that's underneath the eyes. And then underneath on the lower lash line, I'm going to use these three eyeshadows starting off with the black and then use the two warmer shades to blend it out. So it always starts with a darker shade and then use a little bit of warmth to soften and blend it out. And then use Lily and Goddess mixed together and then use this on the inner corner on the lower lash line. And then I went back in with that pigment and I just pressed this over the top. So hopefully you guys were able to keep up with that. We're moving on to eyelashes next, but first we need to apply some mascara, of course. And I also decided to use a black liquid liner as well across the lash line, but this is totally optional. I applied the eyelashes in the reverse way because I prefer applying my eyelashes underneath and then pushing upwards. I just find you get a better result that way. And then moving back onto the face, I'm going to use the white from the contour palette and just brighten up underneath my eyes because that yellow is a little bit too warm for me. Then taking a highlighter so this has a shimmer to it. I'm going to apply this on the inner corner, on the nose, on the lip, on the chin, and across the top of the cheekbones. And then my favorite blush and my favorite blush brush, I'm going to apply this on the cheeks. And then on my lips, and my favorite lip liner, which, I mean, look at this. Look how small this is because I've been using it so, so much. And then I just got the NYX lingerie collection and I'm obsessed. Like, I will literally wear these every day. And then just set everything in place to make sure my skin looks flawless. This is amazing. You just have to shake it up before you use it though. And then just spritz it all over. And it made such a difference to even my eye makeup look. So I highly recommend trying it. Ooh, except my eyes stuck together when I did it. And then I did a little rock out because it takes a while for this to set. And then I just got changed and then I was ready to go. And if it's your birthday, happy birthday. If you'd like to win one of these, check out the information box and definitely check out Sarah's video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on Monday.